number three, and oh. four, a little contact. And around in front of the field, does everybody avoid? They do. Trying Three to hold up Jared Oh, Wall. man. 67. That was, out. that was avoiding the leaders. So coming through the intersection, here's your leaders. And we got one. Nope, <laughs> not the other. Thankfully, no contact. But you saw how much the 67 had to turn to give enough room. Look at that. Kyle. Kylan Swenson. The replay You're coming welcome. to you. I had a feeling. I was like, this 97 is going to go Ooh, and do something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there comes a point of commitment uh, with figure eight racing in, in most figure eight tracks where you realize there's a wall that yeah. I'm driving straight at. And he had the 52 on his inside, so he tried to probably race to the line, but also, like you said, commit to going for that line and then realize, well, I should probably <laughs> – not hit the wall at all, but especially not with the front. If Which I'm going to tag it, I'm going to use the rear it's bumper. It's always a good idea. Yeah. Humphrey Cox bring the field to green, and we are racing. Nice and tight through turns number one and two. And it'll be Humphrey leading the first lap. Oh, Cox gonna go wide. Three wide for second, just about. And now I gotta tape a monitor down. <laughs> or for the third spot battle again. And the 97 of Stidham trying to Work the outside of Cox now for the second spot. Humphreys continues to hold off that 49 of Cox. Stidham working that outside there you see in the turn number three. Right behind him, ready to pounce. The nine of Brent Cave. Still side by side for second. Racing it out early here with 20 laps to go. Five laps in. I'm just about done taping down the monitor, so bear with me. We've got trouble in turn number two. We stay green for the moment. The 10 around, 10W. They'll be down low on the inside of turn two, and there's a yellow. So with our going for a spin there in turn number two to bring out caution number one. With 20 laps to go, we are back to racing. Side by side, through turns number one and two. Humphrey leads, Cox second. Single foul up front, just about. I'm gonna go back here, you see a beta's way sideways out of turn number four. Top four single file, the battle is for fifth now. Four cars under blanket. Led by Troy with our, the uh, Chris Jordan four machine. Isaac Almaswari. And the eight ball. Now we've uh, grown this to be a big battle up front here. Humphrey under pressure now. The 97 do is outside. Kyle Stidham led by a bumper across the line. He holds the lead on the scoreboard, but not on track position. Humphrey slides, and that's going to help the 97 get by. Officially. As we have 10 laps to go, Jeff. Oh, front straightaway. Oh! That might bring out a yellow. I the first two haven't. Yeah. But now he's so far in the infield. This time he's kind of driver's facing. I'm gonna go back up front. You know what? I got I got the front covered. And so do you, actually. Three wide back straightaway. There you go. Almost wire there in the eight. They're with leaning. Our, with our there in 
the five, and like you said, they're leaning. Nine laps to go at Colorado National Speedway. Look at the traffic in front of your leader. Three cars. Where do you go? See them looking high. Cox going to look low. Oh, hold on to your hats. Three wide. Smoking and here's the smoke. They're giving the move over flag, but uh, good luck. Four, four wide. wide. Still four wide. If you thought Colorado National was a two groove track, well, you just found out you're wrong. <laughs> Still stuck in the infield. Oh, into turn number two, we got trouble. That's uh, turn number three, by the way. I just, I yellow. just jogged, okay? <laughs> yellow, yellow, yellow. You're gonna have to forgive my jog brain. Let's take a look at a replay. Down the back stretch. Humphrey, Stidham making contact. I can't tell who's at fault or not. Humphrey looks like he was on a defense lane, not all the way up to the wall. Stidham drove it in there saying, no, no, no. There's room enough for two of us. And I think <laughs> they both lost in thinking, that battle. Are you thinking there was not room for both of them? In traffic, and, and they're gonna restart side by side. Who's gonna get the advantage on this restart? Cox nailing it there. And remember that 97 just went for a spin. You'd have to assume that maybe not in the best shape, the 91 sideways in the middle of the pack. 81. He's got a donut right on the eight. Are you serious? That's an eight? Yep. Okay. I know. That's where well, you'll, you'll notice there's a donut. At least I did in the dash. Four laps to go for Cox. Three wide off in the distance. Here yeah, comes Alvin. Keep Swarty. an eye on that. There's some contact further in the back. Watching the madness, one lap to go into the final corner. We'll cut to our leader cam. As Tommy will keep an eye on that, Chris Cox comes out of turn number four. Checkered flag to the 49. Well, Cox earned it. He navigated through lap traffic when Woo. it mattered most. <laughs> 34 almost spun out there. Yeah, he did. And we have a winner. Chris Cox in the 49. Speedway, three-eighths of a mile. Figure eight course, 20 laps, 40 times through the intersection. No stop sign. No red lights. Just got to get through it as fast as you can. You heard the starting lineup. Now let's get ready to go for 20 laps of crisscross action. We are green and racing. A couple of our super stocks join in the back of this pack. Pretty cool to have Widar and some of the others uh, joining with us. Why not? Change out some of those tires and reverse the stagger a little bit and you're good to go. Out front, Jared Wall. Leading over Stepanek. Getting close there, battle for the lead. So Stefanik now looking to the inside. Four cars battling it out up front. Inside advantage goes to Stepanek and now inside advantage will go to Wall. Jared Wall, he's gonna take the 18 up to the wall just about. You gotta play defense, you gotta keep that momentum. Some figure eight trickery, some old school racing when you take them up to the marbles if you need to. Stefanik's gonna get it though. And through the intersection. Oh, and they stack them up. This becomes a four wide battle for the lead. And insert the walls running the show now. Up front, Jeremy and Jared, that intersection can be the deciding factor. Not in any style of racing. One time or maybe twice a lap. You have to battle the 10th place runner or beyond for a moment like that. Let's go back here a little bit. You see, oh, and the 71 and the 67 making contact. Here comes the leaders now out of four. That's Jeremy Wall. Get some uh, Widar there making some uh, moves through the intersection. Jared Wall to the inside now, through the corner. Jared fighting off Wolf. Your leader, Jeremy Wall, having to navigate through. Here's Proctor, Widar. 
And there's Tabanek now in the second spot, just going by the intersection. So the nearest battle up front will be the third place battle. As your leaders still navigating through, all putting on a great show here. A Colorado leader through the intersection. I think at this point, well, it's just having fun, but that's why you're in this class. You gotta be a stunt man, you gotta be a daredevil. You gotta also enjoy the thrill. Pick up another win on the season here at Colorado National Speedway. And the figure eights and the 13 is going to do a spin across the nose of the leader. Up by the demo cross jump. That was more of the monster truck jump. Rounding turns number three and four. The 15 of Jeremy Wall coming to the checkered flag for another win tonight at Colorado National Speedway. Oh, he earned that one. Round of applause for that time win for Jeremy Wall. I just asked Jeremy, how in the world did you get through that X like that so many times? He says, I have no idea. How about it? One more big time. One of the best figure eight races I can remember right here with a 15 car Jeremy Wall. I don't know which close call to reference, but that first one just a few laps in where multiple cars could have gone out. That is some of the best action I've personally seen. What about for you? That was unbelievable. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely thought we were going to cost a bunch of money that lap. Uh, man, I was supposed to save some tire. I got to run these things again. Uh, but I figure you fans came here to see a race. I ain't saving Jack. <laughs>